Stony Creek River Gorge is a beautiful rugged area not far from Flight 93 Memorial. It is part of the PFBC Fingerling Stocking Program, although it seems to have some wild fish present. I had fly fished in many states, Washington, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, Tennessee, Virginia, North and South Carolina, and different parts of PA, but it wasn't until I had fished a ways into the gorge on a day that the water was higher that I purchased a wading staff. This stream is not for the faint of heart but it is a great place to fish in a more remote area. If you fish here, please practice catch and release and check the water temp if you're fishing in the summer. I hope you enjoy this video. It was definitely a memorable day for us. Welcome to another episode of Wild Blue Discovery. We are fishing Stony Creek River in the gorge area today. So we will see how we do. See you on the water. Not the way to get started. Fish on. I don't know if it's a trout or not, but it's a fish. Actually, I think it's one of them little rainbows. A little rainbow hit the waltz. It's one of them fingerlings that they plant in here. No, wait a minute. He hit the, uh, he didn't hit the waltz, he hit the uh, rainbow warrior. I was gonna hold him up to the camera, but that didn't work. There's one. Blake, I had one, it just kicked off. How to fix a broken rod in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm glad you said first aid kit. I forgot I even had one. <laughs> so we're using first aid band, uh, first aid tape. We're going to put a green stick. Let's see how this works. Okay, is this, is this turn? Make sure your eyelets are meeting though. They are. I think they're close enough. That's not going to be perfect. <laughs> There we go, that's not bad. That's pretty good. But it doesn't, the slits I made don't line up. 
perfectly anyways for the two pieces of the rod to stick together. Actually, a bamboo rod, uh, I think you, it actually has sections where it meets together and then you uh, tape it. Alright, now for the stick. Alright, so here's, tape this along the, make a, make a backbone for it. <laughs> the old Billy Repair, baby. Western PA Engineering right here. I hope I catch a fish for this. <laughs> this is pretty good. This might be stronger than uh, yeah, before. And put one there in the middle yeah. too. Well, yeah. we'll see. So the brown hit the little waltz, or hit the waltz. All right, so we got a I would take it, so I got a brown here, small, maybe a stocked fingerling would be my guess. Doesn't look wild. Did you hear me? So I caught it, so I caught it. Yeah, the, I had a, I caught a little brown. I think it's, uh, it was stuck. It didn't look wild, so, but they're in here. See if that fish will hunt. If not, we'll just, we'll just trade off. Got one. All right. And we have a fish on. Camera's rolling with the broken rod. What is it? All right. <laughs> well, Western PA engineering right there, man. <laughs> that dog's still hunting, man. He's got a broken leg. He got a broken leg, but that dog's still hunting. One-eyed dog with three legs, but yeah. we're hunting. Did you have a waltz on the bottom too? No, I had, uh, I so I didn't catch any browns the last time I was in here. So we got here. Yeah, I'll put up the camera there a second. We got here the broken rod and a brown trout. No, that thing, he looks like he could be wild. Put that guy back in there. Yeah, don't let him get away. That get him wet again. That looks like it could be wild. Look at the top fin. It's red. Look at this back here. That's red back there, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. That looks wild. So that's nice to know. Uh, that looks better than the little one I caught. The little one I caught looked like a little stock finger one. Alright, hold on.
That could be the thumbnail of the video, right? The trout definitely seem to be in the heavier water, you know? Which makes sense. Here we go. Fish on. Let's see what we got here. Wow, another brown. That's interesting. What's that? Okay. Fish that right up in there because with that cold water, that may be colder water feeding in. All right. Little brown. My hand wet here. This thing guy looks like he could be wild. So it's like a wild brown. Feisty little thing. Here we go. Nice brown. Looks like it could be a wild one. Number three. Blake's got hooked up up there with the broken rod. Is that a brown? Crazy. I never caught one brown trout the last time I was up here. It was earlier in the year. Is this, uh, what did he hit on? Squirmy. Let me see him. So they're definitely stocking them in here, although it looks like some of them are wild. Hold it up to the camera there. Little brown. All right. All right. Did you tape it up some more? Yep. <laughs> hey, hey, thank the good Lord that's worked so far, huh? <laughs> it seems like the heavy water like this, they're in there. Otherwise, no. So they must be stocking browns in here now, which would make a lot of sense. There's one. Ah, crate. Got off. I'm only at uh, three. Here, let's get him. Uh, There we go. Another brown. Look at the rainbow warrior, but he's being feisty. Number four, he looks wild, but um, they may be fingerlings. Hold on, nice one, huh? Another nice one with a broken rod. Yeah, let me see that rainbow. That's a nice sized fish. Here, hold him up with a couple hands to the camera. Then revive him. Just skim right up to the video camera there. There we go. Nice rainbow. Make sure we. Good job. 
Hey, that's this thing's like walking on marbles in places. Good job, man. You're doing awesome. You're catching more fish than me, and you got a broken rod. How about that? Oh, shoot. I just missed one right there. Right at the tail end of where that goes into the fast water. Looks like good water here. Yeah, fish on. This is a type of water it seems like they like to stay in. could be stuck, not sure. That looked like good water, and it was. I could, I could stay out of the trees here and not lose him. Maybe my best of the day so far. out in there. There he is. Wow, nice one. Looked like good water and it was. Good fish, good fish. My biggest of the day. Nice stock brown. He's nice and healthy too. Took off real good. Let me see your 50 almost. Let's see if I can get more one out of that hole. That looks good. That was number six, I believe. Oh, you got one! Oh, nice! Get a picture! Blake's got a nice brook trout on down there. All right, this looks good. Nice fish, nice fish. I 
that's number seven. Rainbow hit the, I think, Frenchie. What is that is? Not as big as he felt. All right, got a deep pool here. Looks pretty good. Let's see what we can do. Nothing in here so far. Hit that under there and see what I can get. Wow. Oh, there it is. There we go. Nice fish. Ah, that's a small guy, but at least we got one out of there. Looks like a foul hooked him. Nice looking fingerlings. Either that or they're wild. Number eight, I think. That is a good example of what you can fish with a Euro rig right there. Number nine just went in the water. Holy smokes! Nice one! Yeah. I don't know if he's that big, but he's decent. Rookie. Got it. Whoa, 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 he's between your legs. We're still good. <laughs> I could have sworn I had him. He he sized up like in the last day. He hit the top Frenchie. Maybe my dick's best one of the day. Maybe number 10. Oh, let me get this one hooked. Right, so he hit the he hit the Frenchie. He uh I tried to get over there by that where there's rocks and sure enough. Yeah, hold on a second. Probably there, hiding under one of them. That seems to be where all the big ones are. Right on the shore, hiding under rocks. Nice one. That is nice. My nicest of the day so far, number, we'll call him number 10. I'm not doing the best to keep him track here. Maybe number 10. You know what though? Look at that though. That that looks wild. Look at that red tip there. Yeah. Nice I, you know what? Nice I gotta look and see if they're stalking. Um, 
Brown's in here. I, I, that, look at this. That could be wild. That looks wild there. Jeez. Ah, Raymond. This thing's treacherous with a waiting stick. I got their camera on here. Got another brown. There we go. They're good looking fingerlings if they're not wild. So you got a tan moth? All the good junk stuff. Stony Creek River. Not for the faint of heart. This is like nice dry dropper water in here. This is like maybe the most pleasant hole to fish we fished all day. There we go. He got the brown. That's a rainbow. Number 11, hit the uh, Frenchie, I think. I drug him out of the bottom. Boy, he's not got much fight in him. What if that's the same freaking fish? Number 12, little rainbow. This is probably the best hole in the whole place. Thirteen, maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for Stony Creek River. Bring your waiting staff. There's fish in here, but you've got to work for them. All right. So that's a wrap on Stony Creek. It ain't for the faint of heart. There's plenty of fish in there. Caught twenty some fish, browns. Uh, got one brookie. Rainbows and Blake here, so caught the grand slam of Western PA. So. On a broken rod. On a broken rod. On a broken rod. Look at this broken rod right here. <laughs> Look at this broken rod. Look at that. Heck of a good day. All right. See you guys on the water. Mm -hmm.